Hey, uh, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm uh, Red Miller. I was in uh, HTC 85 from uh, 2011 until 2019. All right, so uh, let's let's go back to the beginning. When did you join the Navy? Uh, I enlisted in 99. Um, did that for a couple of years. And where'd you go to boot camp? Uh, I went up to Great Lakes. Great Lakes. So, yeah. And where'd you go to A school? Uh, I was in A school down in Charleston, South Carolina. And A school mm -hmm. for? Uh, I was a nuke. So. A nuke? Yeah. Anybody know what that means? That means it's a submarine kind of guy. I was. And as I spent about a month on a submarine, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. So that's when I got picked up to go to college so I could be a pilot. So what, so what was, was it? Claustrophobia? What was it? No, it's because I'm so damn tall. I can't, I can't, I can't my head. <laughs> All right. How, how tall are you? Uh, I'm 6'3". Uh, almost Okay. Six well, three. my goodness. Well. <laughs> I was not built to be on a submarine. That's so. funny. So what? So you put in the request to become a pilot? What happened? Yeah. I just, I mean, I applied for the academy, got picked up, uh, went to the Naval Academy, graduated from there, and I mean, got... got All right, guys. He's a ring knocker. <laughs> are you sporting the ring I today? Am, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm my... Club ring oh, club. boy. All right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. So, and then what happened? All right. So you went to Annapolis? Yep. Annapolis. Graduated from there in 05, uh, picked helicopters out of flight school, um, was in Jacksonville for my fleet tour, my first fleet tour, so uh, three years there with HS-11. HS-11, um, and yeah. it's flying what kind of aircraft? Uh, that was the Fox Hotel, the 60 Fox Hotel, so uh, we were one of the, that was one of the last squadrons to switch to HSC and to get to Sierra, so I, I was a straight Fox Hotel guy. Okay, the right. Fox Hotel model is a sub hunter? What is, uh, what's the Fox? Yeah, the, the, the 60 Fox Trot was a sub hunter. It has so little, all the ASP. It'll have a spool and drop a sonar. Yeah. Down. The dipping sonar. There's a uh, a dub in back that was doing his thing. He would uh, kick out sonar buoys, all that kind of stuff. And so, uh, yeah. So I did one deployment with HS11 on the Enterprise. A uh, whole bunch of workups all over. So I, we were on all the carriers on the East Coast, but the Enterprise was our deployment. Um, and then when that finished, uh, that's when I was on deployment. Actually, I got notification. I got orders that I was coming out to San Diego to go to 85. So it was right when they switched from the score mission to back to doing the soft mission. Um, what year was that? That was 2011. So okay. I got I got orders. I got notification in. Uh, it was like September of 2010. And you were a tar? No, I was still active duty. Oh, active so, duty. Yeah, I was active duty, and it was cool because the orders actually had me going to the high rollers. They hadn't even updated oh. in the system to go to. Uh, the, Firehawks. the Firehawks. Yeah. And so when I got to the squadron in the summer of 2011, um, they had just like maybe a month or a couple weeks prior switched their name over to the Firehawks. So. Uh, and that was 2011. 20 yep. 2011. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's the, one of our mysteries. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then what? Then what happened? Uh, then I was I was there for. And what uh, position did they give you? Uh, when I first got there, I was mission planning. So okay. I ran the mission planning setup. Uh, me and Jay Clay, we did a lot of work together. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, just did that for a couple of years, work, doing all the workups and preps. So I, being one of the first guys there and coming in fully qualified in the 60 Hotel, uh, I was able to like go right into all the, the mission training and all that stuff Good. instead of having like get qualified and all that. So it really worked. It put me, I just got lucky, like perfect timing. Um, I was on all like the first deployments, first debts going out the door. And so uh, it was it was fun because I enjoyed that challenge of like, man, what are we doing? Like, what's going on? I don't know. Let's figure it out. <laughs> So it was like, yeah, let's do it live. And so we did it. Uh, but yeah, the first first deployment, uh, full deployment after that was in, we left in September of 2013. Uh, we were out in Guam for six months. Um, so September 2013 till February, March 2014. Um, and you're a, you're a tar. So I'm still active duty. You're still? So I'm still active. So this was my... my it was is that just the way your enlistment was? or? Uh, it was, yeah, it was... Oh. Uh, because once I uh, commissioned, I, I commissioned active duty, and they were taking active guys into the squadron. I wasn't too. aware of that. Yeah, so uh, we were we were all active, and they were I, trying to plus the squadron up. Yeah. And so there was, wow. I would say it was probably at one point maybe like sixty to seven percent active guys really? on the pilot side at least. And then a bunch of us switched over to, well, it was TAR, then it was FTS, and now I guess it's back to TAR again. Target. So okay. So after about two and a half years as active duty there, I put in a package and switched to FTS and stayed there for, for the rest of my time. So so you're still in? I am. I'm in the Air Force now. So. All, right, all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, here we go, guys. All right, so you have 2019 written yeah. on your name tag, so let's explain. So what happened after 2019? Uh, in, well, in 2018, um, 
that, that the Navy was saying, hey, you're a senior 04, it's time for you to go to a staff, or you've got to go to a NOS. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, I just want to keep flying. So send me to flight school, send me down to primary, or let me stay here and I'll keep flying. And they're like, nope, because I'd been flying for my entire career since I graduated uh, flight school. Right. And so they're like, nope, you got to go to do something. And so uh, I, I originally was going to go Air Force Reserve, because, I mean, they looked at me as a reservist, but I got an opportunity to go fly the uh, KC-135 out in uh, England. So I did that for a couple of years, um, and then I got picked up and I'm flying the U-2 now. So, yeah. Yeah, a little with bit. With who? Who are you with now? Uh, I'm with the Air Force still, but I'm up uh, Where? the 99th uh, RS up in uh, Beale. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even aware of there was... Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Hey guys, we're not talking you to the band. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, have yeah. fun. All right, folks. There's an overachiever and there's <laughs> Mr. Red. No, no, no. Wait, so tell me that story. Well, it was. So when did that start? <laughs> that was uh, that was about two years ago, um, and so I, I got the time. And that's an I, active duty position, right? So I went from enlisted to active officer to reserve officer back to active officer in the Air Force, and so now I'm just. Active now, did duty. you lose your rank? Or? No, I actually promoted. So, so what? What's I'm your current a, rank? Uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, you are. Yeah. Wow. So. To, to anybody, that's called a light colonel. <laughs> Which is the same as a commander in the Navy. And, and let's be honest, it's an Air Force lieutenant colonel, so it's more like a lieutenant, not a lieutenant colonel. <laughs> Wait, so tell me, talk about a transition. So you're rotary wing, and now you're going up to, well, 60,000 feet, they say. Yeah, yeah. Some, something around there. Yeah, uh, so that's pretty cool. You know, the, you know, the part that I like to tell people is it was just, and it's hard to believe, but it's just like doing a running landing in a helicopter. Yeah. Because you start at like 90 knots and you slow down. When you finally touch down, you're around 60 to 55 knots. Uh, but you've got a there's a the crewman is in back right. He's in a car chasing you and he's on the radio and he talks you down. And so it's like 10, 9. And eight. those are Dodge Chargers, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, fast. I mean, you guys, you can watch. There's been a bunch of programs on TV on cable. You can watch what they do. But yeah. that is some cool stuff. Yeah. It's just there's a way to keep flying. That's all I wanted to do is to keep flying. And therefore, I was like, can I do that? And therefore, sure. Can I do that? And like, yeah, sure. Why not? So tell yeah. me the experience. I know you have to wear a pressure suit and all that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah I mean, it's. I got a big head, so fitting the helmet on my head, yeah, it's... <laughs> Wait, and, and you're tall. Wait, so explain that. So obviously the seat goes back. The I, seat, the... I have, they... I have, like, that, like, literally that much room above my helmet and the canopy. And so if I stretch, I wow. like wedge myself in there, so... I'll, I'll, I'll get some photos of him. I'll put that on here. Uh, boy, that is some story. And you, li where do you live? Uh, Sacramento. So you, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It, I mean, it's, it's a little bit warmer up there than it is down here, but yeah. it's, it's not bad. Well, uh, that's uh, you know, that's uh, what an amazing. That's you keep doing that till they kick you out. I yep. bet. Yeah, they're gonna. I mean, they literally let you stay there and fly forever. So, right. Until, until I and like hit high year tenure, whatever that is. Yeah. If I want to stay that long, they let me do it. So. And if you make full bird kernel, would they keep? Uh, I, there, can you still? There's a chance. So you keep telling them, I no, don't want to promote. I don't well, want to. That's wanna... the thing. All I want to do is keep flying, right. and these fuckers keep right. promoting me. That's I'm what like... I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my God, what a story! Yeah, hey, nice meeting. And uh, don't go away. I need to get your. All right, we'll be right back.